God's plan is to benefit your good positive sowers. So this means he knows the plans he has for your life. He knows how and when to prosper you. He knows how and when to give you a fruitful life and future. You just need to hang on to the little hope you got left and be okay waiting things out truly. Which leads me to this true story I'm about to share that I ran across this year by the way in 2020 unbelievable story at least in my eyes is unbelievable a 68 year old nigerian woman and 77 year old nigerian man who's been married for 46 blissful years dreamed and desired of having a baby they tried and tried they even tried multiple ivfs in virtual fertilizations and nothing materialized but they never gave up hoping then on the fourth attempt, that beautiful 77-year-old man and that beautiful 68-year-old woman successfully, oh my gosh, delivered not one child, but two. They delivered twins at 77 and 68 years old. Tell me that is not the works of God. The first three words that rolled off their tongues was glory to God because they knew it was only his works. They knew it was only his divine timing and they knew it was his plan, not theirs. The mother says she never lost hope. She knew there was nothing God could not do, which reminds me, there's nothing God can't do, positive sores. <laughs> All things are possible, declares the Lord. She said she declared that she and her hubby were going to have a baby before their life on this earth was over. They didn't care how long it took or how old they would be. She said some family members, listen to this, were doubting their dream, telling them they were too old and uh, giving birth at their age would never happen. It gets even more interesting. Some family members even encouraged the husband to get a younger woman because he would have a better chance getting her pregnant. Oh my God, did your face just fall in your lap? Oh Jesus, but, but, but to God be the glory. God had another plan for those who had little faith in his plan, where he clearly declares to prosper us all, where he clearly declares to prosper us all. Let me read it. In Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. And he did just that. He didn't say for you know the plans or for y'all know the plans, but for I know the plans that I have for you. Come on now positive sores what i deeply love about that couple is both had each other to lean on both carried hope within both were believers in the unseen they didn't say when i see it i'll believe it they walked with having faith in what god knew and and what god was cooking up for them they are true believers in my book and they're true believers in walking by faith and not by sight. They never, ever gave up believing in God's unchanging hand. So sometimes you just got to wait things out no matter how long it takes because God's plan is truly for the benefit of your good. Remember, when doors don't open, God's plan is to benefit your good. When doors close, God's plan is to benefit your good. When you're in the wait process, God's plan is to benefit your good. Meanwhile, keep living your life to the fullest. Keep walking with faith. And when you get weary, remind yourself, all things are working out for the benefit of your good. 